Hi, we're Jordana and Grant from Shot in the Dark Travel. Come join us on our epic adventures around Southeast Asia. This time we're getting the sleeper bus from Hanoi to Sapa. Watch this video to find out exactly why we never want to get on a sleeper bus in Vietnam ever again. Hi and welcome to our Sapa blog. So as you'd have seen in our last video, we spent a lot of time in Ho Chi Minh and we were so, so sad to leave, but we're so excited about Sapa. We've just been on like a two hour flight from Ho Chi Minh. Uh, we've just got to Hanoi and now we're, well, what time is it? So it's 10 to 11 and we're about to board a night coach a sleeper coach, sorry. Um, and it's gonna be Grant's first time on a sleeper coach. It is. I pride myself on being able to sleep pretty much wherever, whenever. So I'm sure, I'm, Jordan has given me some horror stories that they badge it as VIP and then it isn't, but I'm sure I can sleep on a sleeper coach. It's gonna be easy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you that um, have been on sleeper um, coaches before and I'm sure you've all got a horror story or two as well. So if you do, please comment in the comment section because I'd love to hear them. I'm not looking forward that much to it, but it's apparently VIP, Wi-Fi. As long as it doesn't have music just blasting like constantly, that's okay. It's about a six hour um, coach journey. And then we're supposed to get there about, um, I think 4 a.m. But obviously none of the hotels will be open. So they say that you can sleep on the coach until 6 a.m. Um, even though it'll have stopped at four and then we can go to our hotel. Gotta take our shoes off before we get on for some reason. Never done this on a bus before, but oh well. Time to find out if VIP does it actually mean VIP. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry? Can I just stop or stop? Oh, where do you want me to go? He's from this way. Oh, God. <laughs> can we go on top? Yeah, yeah. Can we go on top? Yeah, thank you. Ah, thanks. So my first experience of an Asian VIP sleeper bus is sort of what I expected. I can't quite lay out straight. It's not the cleanest, like literally, I don't know if you can see, but like down here, there's just loads of grime. There's literally a toenail there. No, there, <laughs> there literally is. Oh. Um, there is no plug. I was going to be working on my laptop. I can't. But it's comfy enough. So yeah, it'll do. It's sort of yeah. We we didn't think we were getting like proper VIP. They always oversell it, don't they? Um, but yeah, it'll do. There was quite a funny moment when I got in. The uh, the driver doesn't speak English, so I put in Google Translate. Is there a bathroom? And is it at the back? I can't see it. And then he wrote back on Google Translate. He looked really confused at me. And he wrote back on Google Translate, you need a bath question mark. And I was like, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> so I, don't, I was then like, oh, the, the toilet? And then he's like, oh yeah, you'll have to wait till we pull up somewhere. <laughs> Which I'd have probably gone in the uh, in the airport if I'd have known, but oh well. John, how are you finding it? I feel gross. I can't wait to have a shower. It's so grotty in here. <laughs> But here, what are you going to do? At least you can console yourself with your TV. Why is that You're not <laughs> turning it on. <laughs> Don't work. Don't work. Yeah, Don't mate. Mine neither. It's got a red light and that's about as good of a function as it's got. In total, the one-way VIP bus from Hanoi to Sapa costs 305,000 dong per person. So we've just got here, 6 a.m. as planned. I'm absolutely knackered though. Like this bit here, like that whole wall, 
was so hot last night. Like, I just was incredibly warm and couldn't sleep. Like, the aircon wasn't working. And I don't know if that was, like, the exhaust or if it was, like, the engines underneath me, but I was just incredibly hot and just couldn't get to sleep until right at the end. Felt like I just dropped off and then we arrived, which wasn't ideal. That I feel is so, so, I'm so, so tired. Um, yeah, it just wasn't very comfortable at all. Um, and now the driver keeps saying, like, on Google Translate, car come to pick you up, but apparently he's supposed to drop us off because we're in, like, city centre, the guy that we booked it off. Um, obviously, because it's 6am, he's not up so he's not answering his phone when I've been messaging him. So when I finally told him our hotel address, he was just kind of like, okay then. But I'm hoping he's not gonna try and charge us if he does drop us off, so I don't really know what's going on. And then um, when we like watched YouTube videos here, we've been told about people wearing traditional clothing and kind of how to knew a lot to do tours and stuff and literally I've opened my curtain and there's just like three women like waiting to pounce. There's another two on my side as well also and ready to pounce. It's like oh I really hope I don't have to get off because like yeah it's just so early in the morning and like the last thing I need to think about is like booking a tour or anything like do you know what I mean it's six o'clock in the morning I feel like if it were in the afternoon and I've had some sleep, I'd have just be like, oh, okay. But right now I'm just like, oh, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I just want to sleep. <laughs> Waving at us. Uh, no, see, trying to even sell me a walking tour before I've even got off the bus. <laughs> Morning. You have cooking? Uh, yeah. You have a hamster? Yeah, yeah, we've got it all booked, thanks. Yeah, we're okay. No, sorry. No, thank you. So, we're finally here. <laughs> we made it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys at the start of the video is that um, in our last video we were at Mekon Delta um, and touring around and we started that tour at like 7.30 a.m. So we had like an 11 hour tour and then waited around in the airport, had a two hour flight and then had like a six hour bus. So we've, in total, we left our last hotel at well about 24 hours ago. Yeah, and like the tour was just like a lot of traveling in itself. Like it was an amazing tour, but you know, we traveled by, um, by car, by motorbike, by boat, so it was a long day, and then straight to get on a flight, then to get on a six hour uh, sleeper bus that was not great. Um, it was quite stressful, and we're very, very tired, but but we're here, we're here. Um, yeah, luckily, even with the, lang the language barrier, we managed to get the transfer from the coach to here for free which was what was promised, so. And when we got to the hotel, the guy was literally waiting outside the hotel for his bless him. And he literally just grabbed his bag and he just started walking up the stairs. So we followed him and we got straight to our room. So thank you so much, um, Cat Cat Sunrise. So yeah, that's, that's where we're staying currently. It's probably one of the cheaper places to stay in Sapa uh, as we're trying to conserve a bit of money and we're here for four nights. So we're kind of doing two nights in a cheaper hotel and doing two nights in a nicer hotel. But yeah, this is Cat Cat Sunrise and it's about, can you remember how many dong? Uh, 315,000 dong a night. Yeah, so um, that's, that's pretty cheap. Um, especially for Sapa. Sapa seems quite expensive um, because it's quite resorty and touristy. But you, you'll see why in a second when we show you the amazing views. And this is just from our bedroom window. Yeah, and I think the hotel's very basic, but we're basically here for the views. We picked somewhere that had nice views and it has definitely delivered. These are the views we're going to be waking up to on a morning. So this is just straight out of our bedroom window. It's so, so beautiful. I feel like it never quite does it justice on video, but the mountains are absolutely massive. It looks incredible when you're here. 
but yeah so we're here oh uh, and one thing um i forgot to mention was uh when we was on the coach i was like to grant i was like is the guy just folding up those like quilts as if no one slept in them and just putting it in the exact same spot it was when we first got there for new people to get on the bus and grant was like I was like, oh, I've been laying in this cover that every time Dick and Harry's been wearing, yeah. like sleeping in. And it was so hot, so everyone on there must have been like sweaty as hell. And then all he's done is just fold the cover up they've slept on to get it ready for the next person to give them the exact same one without washing it or anything, which is a bit grim. I don't know if I'm being a princess, but I just don't remember that happening when I was on a sleeper, uh, sleeper bus. Like we, the covers had been like plastic, but I mean, who's to say they don't just re-put it in plastic? I don't know. We're now gonna have a shower and a nap before we go and explore Sapa. Good night. If you've enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you in the next one.